There's no debating that the best basketball player in Brandon history is Tyler Adams. Nobody's had a career that was as stellar all the way through. We moved him up as an eighth grader. He's had legendary postseason battles. The six foot nine center was a four star recruit in high school and signed his letter of intent to play college basketball at Georgetown. However, shortly into his freshman season, Adams was sidelined for good due to a heart condition. So the doctor pretty much told me, you know, you can get this pacemaker and you can take a chance on playing and, you know, you can play 20 years or nothing never happens or you can play two minutes, you know, you, you know, or something could happen. The something could happen part really registered with Adams. He initially thought about transferring, but decided to stay at school in Washington, D.C. With my health issue, I knew I wasn't going to make it to the NBA. So, you know, if I get a degree from Georgetown, you know, or a degree from this place, I mean, obviously Georgetown is a prestigious university. Head coach John Thompson III kept Adams on scholarship. Then his role on the team was essentially as player coach. But when it came time for senior day, Adams got a chance to make one final play. Coach Thompson asked me, like, can you still play or can you still dunk? I was like, yeah, you know, I, I wasn't, you know, then he pretty much told me, like, well, you suiting up tomorrow, and I thought he was playing. Thompson let Adams start against Seton Hall, and he got an uncontested dunk on the first possession of the game. Here he is, a slam dunk, and I'm pretty sure Seton Hall was okay with that. I mean, like I've been telling people the last three years, I'm really not a person to mourn or pout because I know other people in life have worse situation than I have. So Coach Thompson gave me the opportunity to still be a part of the team, and that really helped me get over, I mean, a lot easier than probably what I normally would have. After graduation, Adams came back to Mississippi, where he worked as an assistant coach with Luther Riley at Columbus High School. We'll break it down like that when we come back out. After one season with the Falcons, Adams got in touch with Fred Barnes, his old head coach at Brandon, and the two were able to bring the Bulldogs legend home. Jump, jump. Well, the normal thing for humans is to be loyal to whoever pays you the most money. But Tyler actually took a pay cut in order to be here, and that's special. It feels good to be back. Uh, I was glad Coach Warren, you know, gave me the opportunity to come back and help the kids out. You know, it's kind of weird being back, and, you know, and it means more, you know, because, you know, I'm trying to help them win a championship for, you know, the community I came from. As soon as y'all got it, y'all rose up dribble high and make it easy for them guards to come get it. While he's already started his coaching career a little earlier than planned, Adams and Barnes say this is what the big man is meant to be doing. I was telling someone another day, I really can't see myself doing much other than, you know, stuff dealing with basketball. This has all been planned out. <laughs> and so we already know who the next head coach for Brandon basketball is going to be.